we're back at the Transformation Hub here at MedLab Middle East 2020, and I'm here with Rewat um, from Spartan Bioscience with a product in your hand that I know you're, you're very eager to talk to visitors about. T tell me what you're doing here and tell me what this is. Sure, so, so we're here to really launch our product uh, in the Middle East, really, because you know the technology has been, has been FDA cleared, CIVD marked, so we're just, you know, using Med, uh, MedLab really, which is a perfect platform. And we had so many good uh, opportunities, so many good contacts uh, to follow up, obviously, uh, to launch this product. So tell me more about the product then. Yeah. This is the uh, smallest, the world's smallest DNA PCR uh, analyzer. So, so what, what Spartan Biosense wanted to do is to bring to market a simplified molecular technology and bring it to market a, a product which can be used by everybody and everywhere. And everywhere is the key as well. And that's the key benefit of the size there really, isn't it? And making it small means it's more accessible. Correct, absolutely. Uh, also, the, the technology, to have a, te a good technology is one thing, but also the key thing as well, we have, uh, you know, we feel comfortable enough with very strong and robust clinical studies that back up uh, the, 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 the the performance of the test. We're talking here about randomized control trial, uh, the popular genetic study published in the European Society of Cardiology, two and a half thousand patients. We're having another study coming out by the called the Taylor PCI study, uh, led by the Mayo Clinic, which will be coming out uh, next month, in fact, uh, presented at the American College of Cardiology, uh, and, and you know, 5,000 patients. So we're having here over 8,000 patients uh, evaluated with the technology, so it, it does work. Uh, before we go, Rewat, uh, tell me, you've also been speaking on the stage here at the show. Uh, were you talking around this and, and a bigger topic as well? Yeah, so I was talking about obviously the technology, but how this solution can help patients uh, with cardiac stents, uh, undergoing cardiac stents. So really a big issue at the moment obviously is the CYP2C19 uh, genotyping. So patients who undergo stents intervention are often prescribed antiplatelet drugs. And there is no way at the moment to, uh, to, to know if they have a gene mutation that does not allow them to metabolize the drug. And this little thing will tell you straight away within 45 minutes. Thank you so much indeed for bringing that here to the show this year. I wish you all the very best of success with it in the coming months and years. Thank you very much.